Hello everyone. Welcome to Author Books Reader. Today I'm going to review the book The Magic Drum and Other Favorite Stories by Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy is an Indian engineering teacher and Kannada and English author. She began her professional career in computer science and engineering. She is the chairperson of the Infosys Foundation and a member of the Public Healthcare Initiatives of the Gates Foundation. This book is a part of the children series book and this book is for someone who is above 8 years. The book is a fiction book and published in Puffin by Penguin Books India in 2006. As the name suggests, it is a story based book and there are total 37 stories in this book. A brief summary. The stories mentioned here are the one which are told to the author by her grandparents and some of her friends. The stories are very short, they're full of fun, humor, and also some provide values of truth and honesty. Some are fairy tale with magic and fun. Some shows how people manage and escape hard and difficult situation with the help of their talents. Other shows how greediness destroy a person. So the stories here, some or the other way, provide us with a value or a lesson which are expected in the children's stories. However, there are some stories which are meant only for the fun and enjoyment purpose. In short, I can say that this book is a mixture of all types of stories from fun to moral values. Now, coming to the review of the book, the book is consists of total 145 pages. It is a lightweight book. The font size is medium and each story is about 1 to 2 pages. It is a simple and easy to read book. Now I would like to read one of the story from the book which I like the most. The name of the story is The Seed of Truth and it is on number 9 to 11. Long ago, the country of Gandhara was ruled by the just and good king Vidyadhara. His subjects were very happy. But as the king grew older, everyone got more and more worried. The king did not have any children. who could take over the reins of the kingdom after him the king was an avid gardener he spent a lot of time tending his garden planting the finest flowers fruits trees and vegetables one day after he finished working in the garden he proclaimed i will distribute some seeds to all the children in the garden the one who grows the biggest healthiest plant within 3 months will become the prince or the princess The next day there was a long line of anxious parents and children outside the palace. Everyone was eager to get a seed and grow the best plant. Pingala, a poor farmer's son, was among these children. Like the king, he too was fond of gardening and grew beautiful plants in his backyard. He took the seed from the king and planted it in a pot with great care. Some weeks passed and he plied it with water and manure but a plant did not appear ingala tried changing the soil and transferred the seed to another pot but even by the end of 3 months nothing appeared at last the day came when all the children had to go to the king to show the plant they had grown they started walking to the palace dressed in their best holding beautiful plants in their hands only pingala stood sadly watching them go by pingala's father had watched his son working hard for the seed and felt sorry for him why don't you go to the king with the empty pot he suggested at least he will know you tried your best so pingala to wore his best dress and joined the others outside the palace holding his empty pot in his hand and ignoring the laughter around him soon the king arrived and began his inspection The pots held flowers of different shades, beautiful and healthy. But the king did not look happy. At the end of the line stood Pingala. When the king reached him, he stopped in surprise. "Child, why have you come with an empty pot? Could you not grow anything?" Pingala looked down and said, "Forgive me, your highness. I tried my best. I gave it the best soil and manure I had. But the plant would not grow." Now the king's face broke into a smile. He enveloped Pingala in his arms and announced, 
Here is the crown prince. I had given everyone roasted seeds, which would never grow, just to see which child was the most honest one and would admit he or she had not been able to grow anything. Only this boy told the truth. I am sure he will rule this kingdom one day with truth and honesty. And indeed, that was what happened. When the king grew old and died, Ingala, who had learned from him, came to the throne and ruled Gandhara just for many years. So, this story shows the power of truth and honesty, which indeed make it the best story. Do let me know which story you found best if you go for this book. Now let me read the blurb of the book. A princess who thinks she was a bird, a coconut that cost a thousand rupees, and a shepherd with a bag of words. Kings and miser, prince and paupers, wise men and foolish boys, the funniest and oddest man and woman come alive in this sparkling new collection of stories. The clever princess will only marry the man who can ask her a question. she cannot answer the orphan boy outwits his greedy uncle with a bag of ash and an old couple in distress is saved by a magic drum so the murti's grandparents told her some of the stories when she was a child others she heard from her friends from around the world this delightful and timeless folk tales have been her favorites for years and she has recounted them many times over to the young people in her life With this collection, they will be enjoyed by many more readers of all ages. So, this ends the review. I hope you like this video. If you like it, then give it a like. If you have any suggestions, you can leave it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this. Bye bye. Keep reading.